the lies what did they tell us for this country and they pay me gaga like say i'll be stereo man now what i want to talk right now eh? make my northern brothers eh? my northern muslims and whatever our northern brothers make they know this you understand i don't dislike our northern brothers no i don't dislike any tribe it's just that i am keen hmm, to expose the truth and also expose the lies you get it now if you look at some of our national symbols you get some of them we get pictures and these people pictures when they attach to these national symbols, then they lie, give us, say, these people were heroes when they were alive. For instance, if you look at one of our currency, 20 Naira, for instance, eh? Motala Mohammed, picture the inside there. Now, let me tell you about Moritala Mohammed now. Mm? It's not that I am attacking any tribe or any religion, all right? I just want to focus on this guy. It's not that it's only Moritala Mohammed that has issues, no. If you look at the other uh, our national symbols, some of the pictures appearing there. They don't, they don't deserve to be there. They were never heroes. You understand? Let me start with Morita Allah Mohammed. Now, if you look at the July 29th genocide that was committed against the then Southeastern region and they fooled us, they lied to us in our government and history that it was a coup. If you look at the soldiers, the northern soldiers that perpetrated this genocide, the officer commanding the 3rd Battalion, his name was Lieutenant Colonel Okoro, he was betrayed by his own RSM. His RSM was a northerner. He was an, an Igbo man commanding that third battalion. He was betrayed and he was shot dead. Now, these northern troops who were so angry, they were not ready to listen to any of their commander. You saw the earlier video that I posted, that I, that I made on this channel, where a common uh, combatant was dis disobeying Ogundibe, a supreme commander. So they were not ready to listen to any, any of the command, anybody, any major general. They were not ready. They were hell bent on the massacre. Guess what? One of their commander, hmm? one of their commanders so was Murita Mohammed. Another of their commander, may I begin to, may I, may I begin to mention that Buhari was part of them. IB, Babangida, IB, IBB was part of them. As at that time, one of the young lieutenants that was so filled with anger, eh, he was busy, you know, on alive any Eastern person at sight was Sani Abasha. Another person was B.S. Dinka, the one, Dinka Oka, that led uh, another coup against uh, Maurice Allah Mohammed. You get? Now, all these guys committed all these blunders, yet they are appearing in our national symbols. What happened to people who are actually patriots? What happened to them? How many of you know that Ojuku was the one who designed the, the Nigerian army uniform? How many of you? I know you don't know. Go ahead. Go and research. Some of these people appearing in our national symbols. They've done nothing. They've done nothing. It's just that they were in position at that time. So they wanted to immortalize themselves. They now had to tweak history just to make them heroes. What happened to the person who designed the Nigerian flag? The other time, some years ago, they showed, they showed him. This tricky man. That was the person who designed the Nigerian flag. What happened to the people who wrote the, 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 the second national anthem that have, been, that have been changed? I could go on and on and on like that. We have actual heroes. But they are projecting criminals forward. And just like life usually comes at everyone so fast, I guess Maurice Allah Mohammed, the IBBs and the Sani Abacha, they thought they would have this world to themselves. But I guess life came at them so fast. Because about 10 years later, if not, if it's up to, was it up to 10 years? <laughs> his own verdicts came. By his own northern brother, also. Look at Abasha. How many of you don't hear this song? This music where Haji Bright and Super White sing. Uh, uh, Abasha, where they claim superior. Syria in the. Uh, Idi Amin, where they claim superior. Syria in the. Babangida, where they claim superior. Syria in the. Uh, the other one. Dimka, where they claim superior. Syria in the. Baba God, you go wound them. You go tear them. Anybody who plan bad against us. That's so you be, my brother. This earth is not for anybody. Now you make me, eh? I don't go fear anybody. Provided I say a woman push you come this world. We are just here living. See that they push the agenda, they push, 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 push. Push a man out of agenda. I want people dare to ask questions. They will come to national television and lie. I saw a video of Refresh Nigeria that he titled Do You Know? And he was saying that you know how many uh, refineries that are in Nigeria, the ones that are owned by private individuals and then by government. Do you, uh, do you know how uh, the mechanism that uh, Nigeria used to get crude oil from our soil and then get it processed to fuel and diesel and the rest of them? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Sir, refresh. How do you think we will know? When the little that we even know, the little that we were taught, we grew up to realize that they were lies. 
How do you expect? How is it the same people that you are thinking? They are they even, are they are they even willing? Are they even ready to let us know? Because virtually everything that we've been taught in it, they are all lies. Lies. Education that we are being taught, lies. Your education is far from reality. You can't use it to become anything, anybody. Lies. And we are believing these lies. And on top of that, I'm seeing people coming out to comment, eh, eh, you sponsor a group, you murdered our leaders, and you want us to forgive you, blah, blah, blah. Who told you that those people that were on our life in that first group were leaders? Go research, no. You they, you they, you they bank on these uh, flimsy government textbooks that have been twisted. Who to research into their lives one after the other and see how leader they were. People who teamed up with Britain to set up this fraudulent country called Nigeria. Those are leaders. Or maybe I don't know the meaning of leader anymore. People who we are so eager to punish their own African people, to punish their own Nigerian people, just to prove themselves worthy to Britain so that Britain can promote them. Those are the people you are calling leaders. You call them leaders. People who were after their, their own personal and selfish interest. They were busy making alliances with themselves, you know, betraying one another, and, and you call them leaders. Look at what uh, the Saudana the Saudan, the Saudan of Sokoto, uh, is it Amadou Bello, said about the Igbos. Is that a leader? Is that a leader? Look at what Afawa Bale was saying. Are those, are, those, are those leadership traits? If you don't sit around, they talk. If you don't push yourself off this tribal big god, where all of tribal bitterness, where all of us get, eh? Today, we're going to go chichichi, we're going to go chon chon chon. We're going to pray, oh, I don't go feel full now.